In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We're going to explain who they are. The Holy Family. So who's the Holy Family? Al right? Donkey. Okay. You guys, you are smart. You know already who St. Mary is, yeah? You guys know who Joseph is? Okay. Today I'm going to give you guys some bonus. Do you guys know who Salome is? Okay. You guys, you don't know who Mr. Salome is? I knew you were going to tell me this when I came ready. Okay. So who is Mr. Salome? Who is she? Because we know Kudus yes, yeah? We know the Kudusin of Maryam. We know our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Do you agree? Yes. yes. But who is Kudus of Salome? Because some of you guys are here 50 50. Now, let's look at who Kudus of Salome is. Look at this list. The father is Matat. This is in the Ta'amra Maryam, in the history of the church. In English, we say Matat. Who is Matat? He is the father of, this is what it says in Mishaf Sinkasa. So if you go Hidar al Asr the 11th, you will find this information. So Matat, he had three daughters. Help me out. What's the first one? Maria. Maria. The next one? Sophia. Sophia. The last one? Maria. Who's the oldest? The first one is the oldest. Maria. Which is? Maria. The next one? Sophia. The last one? Maria. Okay, so Maria, she got married. And that's the word, that's the term that's used in Sikasa. Okay, Maria. So Maria, she got married, she had a baby, and she called her name who? Salome. Salome. And her sister Sophia got married, she had a baby, she called her? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Good. And then Hannah had a baby, and she called her who? So, you know, in English, what would Salome, Elizabeth, Saint Mary be in English? What's cousin? Everybody say cousin. cousin. Their cousin. So does that mean their family? Yes. Yes. So could this is Salome, eh? Is she the family of St. Mary? Yes. yes. And she was the assistant helper of Adina Al-Sadi Maria. So does this make sense to you guys? Yes. It makes sense? So Mata had three daughters, the three daughters had daughters, and they are one family. You guys know who Elizabeth is? She is the wife of who? Zacharias. In English we say Zacharias, right? He is the father of who? John the Baptist. Baptist. Good. The fact. Good job. So, therefore, this is the history of genealogy. So, why should we fast? Omen again. Why? Remember, I want to ask you a question. Is it mandatory or optional? Optional. 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 
But when you go home today, think, why should I fast as fast? So I publish I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna keep my nerves. Why should you fast? To remember the flight of the family, what do we mean? Let's look at point one. The departure from home. Saint Mary, this is Salome, our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, when they left, were they happy and pleased to leave? No. Is it, was it their choice? No. No. Okay, so the departure from home, we have to think about that when we think about the soul. Are you guys listening? Listen guys, open your ears. When you're thinking about the soul, you have to understand, it was very, very hard. And their donkey, fleeing. Yeah, this is hard, it's not easy. So imagine somebody is forcing you to leave your country, the land that you love, by force. Is that good or bad? That's bad. So we have to think of St. Mary and the departure of Kedusit and Gurmariam. This is not easy. Second one we have to think about is nomadic ventures. What does that mean? Nomadic like nomads, they're going from one place to another place. But this is not adventure, it's venturous, which means it was dangerous. So they went from one place to another. Imagine being with St. Mary, Kedusit Yasef at that time. And they went to Egypt. They didn't know anyone. They didn't have any family. So you have to think about that, guys, very deeply. Another one is unfamiliar, unfamiliar destinations, like what? Egypt, Gumsi, Sudan. You guys know where Sudan is? Yes. yes. Another one, Eritrea, Aksum, and cities and towns. How do we know this? The Bible says Joseph and the family, holy family, they flee to where? Egypt. Egypt, right? Good. That's all the Bible says, but it doesn't go into detail. If you read the Ta'amra Maryam, we have beautiful history of the Ta'amra Maryam that explains to us, and the history of St. Mary that explains to us, and specifically about this flight that explains to us that existed in Maryam and the Holy Family. You guys remember the Holy Family? The Holy Family, did they want to go to Egypt? No. They also came to Eritrea. Did you guys know that? Can you tell me one place in Eritrea that they came to? Do you guys know? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's true. This is a blessing. So Saint Mary and our Lord Savior Jesus Christ came to our land. Does that mean our land is holy or not holy? holy. I can't hear you. Holy. holy land, yes. Because God blessed our land. You should be proud of this and you should remember this. So therefore, unfamiliar destination. Think before you fast. Why we should fast is fast. To remember St. Mary and the Holy Family, their departure, their ventures, and unfamiliar destination. Put yourself into that position and remember. Don't forget. Next. To remind us the obstacles and troubles the Holy Family faced. So when we fast, we remember obstacle means and the trouble means it's a fatanata. All the fatanatar, all the tsaikamat that our, 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 our Blessed Mother went through. Uh, our, our, you know, Kudus Yasef went through. So, what kind of stuff are we talking about? Chased by Herod's soldiers. Did you guys know that? Herodos was, was, was Herodos a good guy or a bad guy? Bad guy. Very bad guy. So he was chasing, existed in Maryam, and he was chasing uh, the Holy Family to kill them. You know something in the Ta'amra Maryam? I want to tell you guys very quickly. There's, there's a story that talks about, I read it for you guys last year. It's a story when St. Mary, the whole family, were passing by Egypt. They saw soldiers following them. And then St. Mary, she started to, to, to pray. She started to cry. She started to say, please help me, God. Please help me. And then you know what? In front of them, there was this big tree. And then that tree, when she prayed, who's with her? Her son. He could do anything, yes? So what happened is the tree opened and it took the whole family inside. Is everybody listening? Yes. Okay, let's count. Kudus Yasef. Kudus Maria. Kudus Solome. The donkey. That's a lot or not? That's a lot. How do you fit that in the tree? So they fit inside the tree and the tree opened and then when they went inside, it closed. Is this the Amr or not? No. This is big the Amr. So when they went inside, if you read it to Amr Maryam, it's a beautiful story. 
I like the story because when they were inside, Herodos, his soldiers came, they were looking for them with, you know, big, big sword. They wanted to kill them. And then they couldn't find them. They said, we thought we saw St. Mary here. We thought we saw the Holy Family. Where did they go? Let me ask you guys something. Where are they? Inside the tree. You want to hear something very funny? This is what it says in the Tamar Maria. The donkey, he started making noise. So the soldiers said, What's going on? There's Adgi somewhere. But they couldn't find the donkey. So existed in Maria, the whole family was saved by this Ta'amr. This is one Ta'amr of many. This is an amazing story. So all these things our Blessed Mother St. Mary went through and we should remember. Another one is extreme weather, like the scorching sun and heat. Is Egypt cold or hot? Uh, is it hot or cold? Have you guys seen the desert before? The Sahara Desert? Have you ever watched on uh, National Geographic television before? Yeah. When you see it, you're like, <laughs> Yeah, because it looks very hot. So imagine existing in Maria with the donkeys, with Kadissa Salome, they're tired, they're thirsty. That's what the Mishaf says the books. But who's taking care of them? Who? Jesus Christ. You know, our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, when he was a baby, he was talking to his mother, he said, I think it's the end of the day. Don't worry, I'm here with you. These are comforting words. These are good words. Are these good words or bad words? These are good words. So next one, uncomfortable terrain. What, is, what do we mean by this? The desert, the rock, the mountains, all by foot. You know, they're tired, the sun, they're thirsty, all these things. So, all these things they went through for a reason. But in the end, they received a huge blessing. So when you fast, you need to remember all these things. Another one is hunger and thirst. What, what's hunger in Tigrinya? Hmm? Amen. Just right now. You guys tell me who Yeah? Okay, so hunger and thirst. Imagine in the desert, hungry, thirsty, they don't know where they're going. You know something, if you are within your country, you know where you're going. Am I right? You know where you're going. But if you are in a new country or a new city, do you know where you're going? No. But imagine you go to a different country, do you know which house to go to? No. You might be starving, you might be hungry, you don't know where to go to. So therefore, we need to remember all of these things that St. Mary and St. Joseph and Kedisa Sonome, all these things that they went through. All these things that St. Mary went through. In the end, later on, our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, He gave her something, a gift. Kirane? Kirane Merat. Everybody say that. Kirane Merat means al kiran. It means this is a gift that He's given her. Why? Because all these things that she went through, now, this Al-Kiran, Kiran al is this something valuable? Yes or no? Very, very valuable. Because when you remember Kiran al you'll receive a huge blessing. Okay. Matthew chapter 2, verse 19, 21. So after all of this stuff, Jesus, the whole family returned back. Where? Home. Which it says here, Now when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the young child's life are dead. Then he arose, took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. This is good news. So, they left their country, and then later on the angel said, Come back. Who's dead? Look behind me. Who's dead? Herodos. I'm going to ask you very quickly. Slavic again means what in English? Fast of the flowers. flowers. Are we fasting for flowers and roses? No. Who are we fasting for? Or what are we fasting to commemorate? The holy? holy? Okay, help me guys. Who's the holy family? Let's count them. Who? Loud, loud. Who Saint Mary. Saint Joseph. Saint who? Saint Joseph. 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 The donkey Adki, right? So, all of them went to Egypt and came back in the end. So when you guys 
think or attempt to fast this fast, you've learned some information today. Take it home, talk with your family, learn more, and not only learn, but use the information and apply it in your life. So I hope and pray to God that you guys learned uh, some few information. And just quickly, I want to ask you guys, how many Sundays of Muslim that some of us have? Six. How many? Six. And how many fasts does the original Orthodox Church have? Six. Seven. And may God help us. May God instill in our hearts understanding. And may He help us to fast as best as we can. So let's take it, even with our families, as best as we can. So glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now to all ages and all ages. Amen. May God bless you.